Okay, let's torch it. I really hope some cells show up. This is actually really amazing. Hello, my creative friends. Olga Sobi here and welcome to new acrylic pre video. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a funnel ripple pour technique to create a beautiful cell explosion on your canvas. And in case you don't know what funnel pour is or funnel ripple pour, this is a technique where I take a regular ordinary funnel place it on a canvas and then add colors, fluid acrylics inside of that funnel and then lift it in short, quick movements like this. And that creates ripples of paint on a canvas or panel or whichever surface you're working on. And to make it a little different, a little more interesting today, I'm gonna try slowly rotating my panel during the ripple pour. Let's see if it's gonna make any difference at all. And as always, all the colors, supplies, names, links, all the info in the description under this video. So please check it out. And now let's get started. Okay, so today I'm working on this 12 by 12 cradled wood panel. I have primed it previously with gesso and taped the sides because I like keeping the clean wood edge in my paintings. And for this size of the panel or canvas, um, I need approximately five, five and a half ounces of fluid paint to make sure it's all covered, not including the edges because I'm not going to be covering the edges. And you can always use my paint calculator if you need to estimate how much paint you will need for your size of the canvas. Just keep in mind that this is a very rough number. This is your starting point and you will have to adjust it depending on the technique and consistency of your paint. For example, for this size of the canvas, I need five, five and a half ounces of paint. But because today I'm working with thick consistency, I need some extra paint because the thicker your consistency is, the more paint you will need because it's going to be moving slower on your canvas or panel. Also, today I know that I'm going to be spinning my panel and some of the paint will go off the canvas so I will need some extra to make sure that I have enough to create the design that I'm going for. So instead of going for five, five and a half ounces of paint I'm gonna go more like for six, six and a half just giving myself that extra ounce so I have more room to play around. All right I hope this helps and let me know if you want to keep receiving these tips and tricks from me. And let's get started. So I'm going to add um, one drop of silicone to all of these colors. I'm using silicone by Pebeo. I'm going to mix it in. So those are the colors that are going to go in the funnel. And next I'm going to mix it in pretty well. I see that this color is a little too thick, so I'm adding just a few drops of water to it just to make it a little more fluid. I want all of my colors to be the same consistency. All right, all the colors are mixed. The silicone is mixed in. I wanna add a little bit of this dark blue. It's gonna be base for my ripple funnel. And Next, I'm trying to place my funnel as close to the center as possible, keeping it nice and tight and flat to the surface. And now I'm going to be adding my colors to the funnel. Some of the colors are coming off. I need to work fast. I'm not holding it flat enough to the surface, but that's okay. It wouldn't affect much of the end result. I lost a little bit of paint, but not too bad. So let's do the ripple. Okay, well, so far this looks pretty plain. 
I hope some of the colors that are hiding underneath right now will show up after I'm gonna torch it and spin it. I'm covering my corners with dark blue to help the paint flow when it reaches the corners. You can see the paint is slowly stretching out. Okay, let's torch it. I really hope some cells show up. Now we're talking. This is better, because that green gold was a little too plain to my taste. And now some of the dark blue, a little bit of red popped up. I like that I, because I was throwing my canvas during the final ripple, I got a little bit of spiral here, I see. Okay, I'm pretty happy so far. But let's try and spin it. And by the way, I'm not spinning too fast because I want my cells to stretch out, but I want them to keep the sh their shapes. So I'm not spinning like crazy. And this panel, and this type of Lazy Susan, it doesn't really allow you to spin too fast, which is completely fine with me. This area is gorgeous. I love it here. These cells are very contrasting. At the same time, this, this sort of spiral blends in, in, and here is the green wave. This is actually really amazing. Wow, I'm happy. So seeing these drips, I don't have like a whole lot of drips, but uh, having a little bit of extra paint really helps you to get to the design that you desire. Should I spin it more? I'm pretty happy with all the layout and cells. Kind of want to get rid of blue corners a little bit. I'm just literally dipping my finger in drips and stretching out that part because those drips contain silicone and see if I torch some cells pop up and just like how it was meant to me. I love it. You know, it's not as symmetrical as I was hoping, but at the same time, my spinning the canvas during the ripple pour really created a fabulous spiral. I'm definitely gonna do it more. What do you think? It's a lot more interesting that, than if it was just green and just blue. And there are some beautiful cells, multi-ring cells. See how there are rings of colors inside of these cells? Beautiful. I see splashes of gold here. When it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be fabulous. Green wave and blue wave crushing together in this spiral movement. Ah, so happy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some details now. Please let me know how you like this effect, how you like the symmetry inside of unsymmetrical layout and I can't wait to see how this beauty dries. So keep watching to see the final result. All right, my friends, so here is the dry, fully finished result. Isn't it just an explosion of joyful cells? I don't know, this painting just really makes me feel so happy. And as it dried, it became more contrasting. All the cells have even more definition. I totally love it. My favorite part is still this section down with the multi, multi ring cells. Such a neat effect. And I really like the splash of gold in the center. And overall, I think this is a really cool effect with the um, green wave and blue wave and how they spirally blend or crash into each other. This painting is already covered with epoxy resin and a nice clean wood edge. If you guys want to see how I clean off the silicone and prepare my paintings before the resin, 
Here is the video right here. I show my process there step by step. And of course, please let me know how you like the outcome, how you like this spiral ripple pour. That's how we should call it. What do you guys think? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. As always, I will chat with you in the comments down below. And I hope you will join me in the next video. Bye-bye.